The Sessions Court in Kuala Lumpur has set December 9th and 10th to hear the prosecution's application to consolidate four charges of abuse of power and three charges of receiving money from illegal activities against former Prime Minister Tan Sri Mohidin Yassin. Judge Azura Alwi fixed the date during a case mention on Friday, which was attended by Deputy Public Prosecutor Datuk Wan Shaharuddin Wan Ladin, along with Mohidin's lawyers Amer Hamza Arshad and Datuk Seri K. Kumara Endran. Earlier, Wan Shaharuddin informed the court that all seven charges against Mohidin should be tried together as they are related. In response, Amir Hamza noted that the defense would also file an application on the same day to strike out the prosecution's request to combine the charges. During the same proceeding, Wan Shaharuddin requested the court to set trial dates, but Amir Hamza objected, stating that he needed to consult with lead counsel Datuk Hisham Tepotek. Judge Azura subsequently set October 3rd for both parties to update the court on trial dates. On the same day, the court will also hear Mohidin's application for the temporary release of his passport. On September 11th, the Court of Appeal dismissed Mohidin's application to review a previous ruling reinstating the four charges of power abuse involving 232.5 million ringgit. Mohidin, as then Prime Minister and President of Bersatu, is accused of using his position to secure 232.5 million ringgit in bribes from Bukhari Equity Sendirian Bahad, Nepturis Sendirian Bahad, Mamfor Sendirian Bahad, and Datuk Azman Yusof for his political party. The alleged offences occurred at the Prime Minister's office in Putrajaya between March 1, 2020 and August 20, 2021. The 77-year-old also faces two charges of receiving 195 million ringgit from illegal activities deposited into Bersatu's CIMB bank account between February 25th and July 16th, 2021, and between February 8th and July 8, 2022. Additionally, Muhyiddin was charged in the Sessions Court in Shah Alam on March 13th last year with receiving 5 million ringgit from illegal activities. That case was later transferred to the Sessions Court in Kuala Lumpur for joint trial.